welcome to this module and here today we will see uh, what exactly as a uh, differential amplifier. So, we have seen the op amp as an inverting, we have seen op amp as a non inverting and we have seen op amp as a summing amplifier. Now, let us see how the operational amplifier can be used as a differential amplifier all right. So, uh, if you come back to the screen. So, if I have uh, a op amp in the following configuration in the following schematic or following circuit, uh, then what I see is I am applying input to the inverting as well as non inverting amplifier correct applying input to the inverting as well as non inverting terminal of the amplifier inverting as a well non inverting terminal of the amplifier. I have values R 1 R 2 right in this particular configuration how can I find my output voltage V o first first case is how first I have to find the output voltage V o the relation between the R 2 R 1 V 1 V 2 with respect to V o ok. So, you see this points one is V minus another one is V plus one is V minus another another one is V plus. Now, what can I see V minus equals to V plus how because current into the op amp is 0 or because of the virtual ground concept right so, V 1 equal to V 2 or V minus equals to V minus V plus. So, I would be so this one ok first we are considering this value which is I 1 then we will consider the value which is right over here I 1 ok. So, this value is nothing but what will be V 1 minus V minus so V 1 minus V minus divide by R 1 correct and if I consider this value then it will be nothing but V minus right because here you can see here then you have to see here. So, it will be V minus minus V o by R 2 minus V o by R 2. So, what is my V plus my V plus here now if I want to measure this value V plus right what will V plus V plus will be. So, you see here V plus you have to consider this ground you have voltage here. So, this is like a this is like a potential divider. So, V plus will be R 2 divided by R 1 plus R 2 into V 2 correct because you see here V 2 is V and here is a ground. So, it looks like we are measuring we have V 2 we have R 1 we have R 2 and we are measuring the V plus correct. So, V plus would be nothing but R 2 by R 1 plus R 2 V plus would be nothing but R 2 divided by R 1 plus R 2 into V 2 into V 2 right. Now, I know that V plus right because V minus equals to V plus. So, I will also put my value I 1 equals to this both values. So, V 1 minus V minus by R 1 equals to V plus uh, minus V o by R 2 correct this is the value. Uh, now, if I substitute the value of V plus if I substitute the value of V plus in this equation in this equation right what will I write V V 1 minus this value divided by R 1 equals to R 2 divided by this whole value again we are substituting here in this place right. So, if I solve further what will I have when I solve the complete equation I will find that my V o equals to minus R 2 by R 1 V 1 plus R 2 by R 1 plus R 2 into 1 plus R 2 by R 1 into V 2 or further I solve it then my voltage out output voltage will be nothing but R 2 by R 1 into V 2 minus V 1 correct. When you solve it further you will uh, get nothing but R 2 by R 1 into V 2 minus V 1. So, what is it doing? It is the differential amplifier, it is amplifying it is amplifying the difference of voltage at the output right. And what is amplification factor? Amplification is done by values of R 1 and R 2. Amplification is done by substituting the values of or selecting the values of R 1 and R 2. What are R 1 and R 2? R 1 and R 2 are my feedback resistors, R 1 and R 2 are nothing but my feedback resistors ok. Yeah. 
you got it. So, this is how my differential amplifier would work that whenever I apply a voltage at both the terminals voltage V 1 and here V 2 at the another terminal my output voltage would be nothing but difference of the voltage right difference of the voltage into R 2 by R 1 this is the formula that I have to remember and this will be this would be my differential amplifier this will be my differential amplifier ok. So, let us solve an example let us solve an example. So, for the differential amplifier configuration shown here it is given that R 1 equals to R 3 equals to 10 kilo ohm. So, this is 10 this is 10 R 2 equals to R f equals to 20 this is 20 this is 20. Solve for the output voltage you have to find V o right the input voltage V 1 terminal and input resistance to V 1 terminal for 3 cases V 1 equals to 0 and V 1 equals to minus V i 2 right. So, let us see let us see 1 by 1. Now, because R f by R 3 equals to R 2 by R 1 the output voltage is given by the output voltage is given by it is very easy right V o equals to R f by R 3 into this one V i 1 minus V i 2 right. If I substitute the value 20 divided by 10 equals to 2. So, 2 times V i 1 minus V i 2. So, as R f equals to 20 kilo ohm and R 3 equals to 10 kilo ohm. The input resistance to terminals V i 1 and V i 2 varies as shown here you can so see here right. So, what will happen therefore, input resistance to V i terminal 1 is nothing but R 1 plus R 2 right. If you see this uh, circuit what we will find that the input resistance to terminal V i 1 will be nothing but R 1 plus R 2 right. What is R 1? R 1 is 10, R 2 is 20. So, it is 30 kilo ohm. Input resistance to V i 2 when V i 1 equals to minus V i 2 will be if we apply the Kirchhoff voltage law then you will find then you will find that V i 1 V i 2 plus V i 2 into R 2 divided by R 1 plus R 2 divided by R 2 equals to R 3 right. If you see this circuit you have to see this circuit you will find this well uh, how we are solving. Also uh, V i 2 so when you further solve it what do you get V i 2 by I 2 equals to this particular value. So, therefore, the input resistance into terminal 2 after substituting the value. So, if I if I this is nothing but my input resistance of the terminal 2 right V i 2 by I 2 is nothing but input resistance to the terminal 2 right whatever the input resistance is. So, so, substitute if we substitute the values what will I have 6 kilo ohm I have value of 6 kilo ohm right. So, this is how we can solve the this is how we can solve the problem for the differential amplifier. Now, uh, uh, understand understand that I am little bit getting faster in solving the things I am little bit speeding up my lectures. The reason is that you have to also try to understand how to go in a frequency with the with the uh, teacher all right. This is another skill that as a student as a listener we should develop that if the speed is increased our our capability of understanding the problem should also increase and that can increase only when we are clear with the earlier lectures all right. So, when I talk suddenly about virtual ground you do not have to go back and see what is virtual ground right because you have already seen and you have already know what exactly virtual ground is. Similarly, when I talk about inverting non inverting amplifier immediately you should be able to see ok that was the case this is the equation now differential amplifier V o uh, is nothing but minus R f by R 1 into V 2 minus V 1 or R f by R 1 into V 2 minus V 1. Now, if I talk about solving the uh, differential amplifier this is how you can solve the differential amplifier. So, we have taken two problems in which we have solved the differential amplifier right. Now, if I want to show you a, a problem where there is a current to voltage converter. So, if you come at the next uh, screen the uh, there is a current to voltage converter. What you see here is the first circuit right and here uh, if I if I want to uh, understand then what is it I f would be equals to I 1 uh, right. So, uh, another way is V and then V plus equals to V minus equals to 0 that is also true right. So, if I substitute value then 0 right. 0 minus V 0 
0 minus V0 is nothing but minus IF by RF because V and 1 is what 0 and here is V0. So, 0 minus V0 is nothing but IF RF. So, VO equals to VO equals to minus IF RF minus I1 RF right. So, trans resistance is nothing but delta VO by delta V delta II is minus RF ok. So, now let, let us see let us see this particular circuit let us see this particular circuit. Now, I am not going to uh, teach you what is trans conduction trans resistance right that you have to understand how trans resistance can what is how it is defined and how we have written delta VO by delta II right. So, uh, understand what is trans resistance ok guys understand something try to learn by yourself as well ok. Now, V O equals to minus I 1 RF correct. So, this is the vo vo uh, value of output voltage given a given a circuit to you ok. Now, let us consider this particular circuit which is our photodiode circuit. So, if you are given a photodiode how can you measure the output how can you measure the output ok. So, this is a photodiode as you can see hmm, and what is that I 1 is 25 micro ampere per millivolt of incident radiation this much is the current that we can generate ok. So, at 50 millivolts at 50 millivolts I what is the power what is the current at 50 millivolts it will be 50 into 25 into 10 to minus 6 because it is micro ampere 1.25 milli ampere. Now, if I assume that R f equals to 3.2 kilo ohm then my output voltage V o would be minus 4 volts then my output voltage V o would be minus 4 volts all right. So, again if I have if I am given a photodiode circuit as shown in figure and if I have if I am told that I 1 equals to 25 micro ampere that is the amount of current that uh, the photodiode generates per millivolt per millivolt of incident radiation and at 50 millivolt what should be the uh, final voltage at 50 millivolt what should be the final voltage then I had to use this formula that I 1 equals to 50 into 25 into 10 to the minus 6 will be 1.25 milli ampere and then I have to assume the value of R f assuming the value of R f to be close to 3.2 I will have output voltage equals to minus 4 volts equal to minus 4 volts ok. So, this is how your uh, current to voltage converter works and uh, photodiode circuit is an example of current to voltage converter uh, uh, and uh, we have also seen how the differential amplifier works right. So, uh, this is all about this particular module in the next module let us see the application of an integrator and then in uh, another module we will see application of an differentiator. Again you see I am I am breaking this module into small uh, uh, modules or breaking this lecture into small modules uh, so that you can understand the concept read it solve few problems get more problems and solve by yourself all right and also see how the, what is the application of this amplifiers all right. So, that is why the the time I am squeezing down in 20, 25, 30 half an hour whatever the lectures uh, I can I can bring it to whatever modules I can bring it to. So, that you have enough time to understand and then digest and then solve more and if you have any query you can ask ok. If you have any query feel free to ask ok. So, in the next module we will see the integrator till then you learn about this thing understand what I have taught right understand how the current to voltage converter works and that uh, solve few more examples by yourself all right till then you take care i'll see you in the next module bye